Huh, welcome back to Skeletons. I'm Zinker, she's Derek, and this is New Super Lucky's Tale. Uh, we, we started to mention the virus the previous episode, or, well, we said it at the beginning of the last episode or something. Uh, whatever. Yeah, uh, the coronavirus. Yeah, you said it impacted you, Derek. Was you playing home? How did it impact you? Yeah. It's, uh, it's impacted the stock market. Has it actually? Oh, that makes Quite sense. A bit. Yeah. yeah. My uh my my uh stocks are down sixteen hundred dollars. Oh my god! That's well, I, that's how the stock market works. They were they were uh, they're they're at they were where they are right now. I think they were at like a year ago or so. Okay. Um, but they were at like sixty eight hundred, so I'm down to like fifty two hundred right now. Wow, that's sad. That sucks. Yeah, it'll it'll bounce back once the virus gets. Yeah, once people way. get a, hand, a handle on the virus, assuming we do, <laughs> like I once mean, it like starts to dissipate like, a little more. I was talking to my sis, and she's like all scared that we're like that schools gonna get shut down, stores is gonna get shut down, and I'm like, no, it didn't happen. Bird flu, it's not it's not gonna happen. With this. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was talking to her. I, I like. I think. I think we'll be like. I, I'm pretty certain. Like, we'll be fine. Um. It'll, it's not, it, it's not, like, it doesn't have a horrible mortality rate. No. Um, it's, it's not like, it, it's only, it mostly only is like a, a, a huge, a th like a, a threat to people with like weakened immune systems or who generally like can't fight off viruses on their, or whose bodies generally can't fi fight off viruses too well on their own. Yeah. Um, from what I Like me right now, which is my only anyways, concern. Um, I'm in, I'm at my most weak state because of these the, the wisdom teeth removal uh, which isn't fun yeah but uh you know i'm not worried um, that like i'm gonna suddenly it just zinker just don't need anything that's been imported from china yeah it's not like you have anything like that it's not like i have anything that's been imported from china that i ordered before the virus is a little more mainstream i don't have oreos or anything that i ordered from china <laughs> i've actually uh, but I, I, I think of it only because I've had a, I've been having like a weird breathing problem, but I'm pretty certain it has mm. to do with asthma or something. Cause, yeah. uh, oh, it forced me to collect this page. Yeah. Why? That's terrible. I didn't get the hidden page. I didn't know where it was. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll look it up. Um, Derek, you say some words while I look up this hidden page location. Um, you know, you know, viruses have happened before in the past where yeah. people didn't initially didn't know how to deal with them. And somewhere along the way, they either figure it out or just, you know, natural human causes fixed, fixed it. Really? Like, I'm not too worried it's going to be, uh, like... It's like a. It just kind of sucks. Yeah, it just it just. Sucks. About it really, like. Um. Oh. Come and once on. it subsides, though, the uh, the economy should help. Uh, should bounce back once China, you know, once uh, China is able to like import and export more th or things again. Because like obviously they're a big, <laughs> they have a big impact on the world economy. Yeah. And like. Oh. They've been hit real hard by the virus because, like, people people aren't ordering things from China, and even if they even if they are, a lot of places in China are delaying uh, sending out things until the virus gets controlled more. So yeah, um, uh, that's the other thing too. Like, uh, it also happened in China. According, according, I guess according to my mom, which uh, you could take this with a big grain of salt. A lot of people just won't even report it because whatever reason. Um, uh, I don't know why. I don't remember the reason why. I think she said it because it was embarrassing. I'm like, my my mom also when I got the oil says they inject a lot of fucking crazy chemicals into it. I'm like, okay. So, yeah, uh, boomers are scared of China most for the most part. Yeah. Um, it they're it's sensationalized. That's why. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, so it's because I think a lot of boomers are afraid of things from China because for one thing, um. For, for as for people being embarrassed or like it not, things not getting reported there, 
I don't I don't know what the I honestly don't know what the current state of China is. Last I had heard, it wasn't very it's China was in like a very bad state anyways. Of like yeah. politically. It's a very very it was a very unstable political climate. Um like there were a lot of not great things happening, so I could see I could see more just like the 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 government itself not reporting to the rest of the world any sort of like cases that were being discovered or like that there was a virus that they weren't able to treat very well or knew much about. Yeah. Um, I don't again I don't know much of the specifics of China, so like I don't want I don't want to like say much without being well informed because I'm a I'm a millennial. We I mean, like to be well informed usually. Um. I mean, they're gonna die from the virus anyway, so we basically get to write the <laughs> we get to write the history. Yeah. We can make them whatever we want them to be, Derek. Uh, I will say I know what I know, and like I know this from my parents too. What what scares a lot of boomers from China is uh, at least for imports uh, that come in from China is uh, they have they're a lot more relaxed on what chemicals they allow to be used for um manufactured goods there me. like uh wait oh wait like um oh like i i'm i remember when i was younger there was a scare um that uh things wait. from uh Fuck. hold on uh, you, sorry keep going keep going doing. uh i'm just a little upset because he just suddenly has the hidden page Ah, fucking! I, I, ah! But wait, where do you get it? I don't understand. Is there? Oh, that's where you're oh, looking at. I got guy. Okay. I forgot you were doing. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just, I'm just standing. I'm sorry that I was just standing there, guys. Um, but uh, okay. Um, I got, I know where, I know where I need to go now. Um, I don't know how I missed it the first time, but uh, fine. Uh, we're actually... I think what's... So I... Keep going. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Uh, so, um... What, uh, I think scarred, like, at least my parents and probably a lot of other boomers was, um... I remember several... Or, like, a long time ago, when I was, like, a child, there was a scare that came out of China of, um... Uh... Things of, uh, t children's toys having lead paint on them. And the lead paint being toxic to children who like may, may like lick, lick or put the toys in their mouth right um as kids do mm -hmm. i know for my parents that, that that like that stuck with them forever of like be careful of anything from china could have lead paint um mm -hmm. i think in china at least they used to be i don't know if they still are were la like pretty relaxed on what um on like what chemicals were allowed to be what like uh materials were allowed to be for or allowed to be used for like uh um different uh items and stuff like they could just use lead, lead like lead paint was lead paint was something that was uh illegal in the u.s you can't make lead paint um so it's against like regulations um and whatnot but like china you could um, i know yeah um so uh and like there were other things too that like like chemicals that were able to be used for or that like in like the u.s or illegal to use in manufactured goods but china could because they didn't have regulations on it um or they they they, they weren't against their regulations so i think a lot of uh, boomers from like cases like that were like scarred or were basically scarred by it were that any sort of uh thing from china or, or like things from china can have like bad chemicals and you have to and it's that, that it's a big problem like they're worried about it so um i think that's why a lot of boomers are just uh scared of things from china especially now with the, like the coronavirus that that probably does, isn't that's probably bringing back old uh yeah. old feelings yeah uh which is uh my uh my uh sis was scared by her dad by the way <laughs> if that's uh mm -hmm. if that's relevant uh the one who freaked her out. She, she was telling me she was gonna buy like two hundred dollars worth of canned foods. I'm like, why? You're fine. I, I, I was like, why? It's like in case they shut down the schools. I'm like, that's not. That's not gonna happen. It's a, you're fine. She's gonna buy two hundred dollars of canned foods if they, in case they shut down the schools. Schools and well, in stores. 
school again. She, she, was, she wasn't just oh. like, in case they shut down schools, I want to have $200 worth of canned food. <laughs> oh, that's why I was like, well, that's why I was concerned because it's schools. They're not gonna yeah. shut stores aren't gonna shut down because we don't yeah, have I know, yeah. or because because Especially, of the coronavirus. Yeah. Like how what are they gonna, stores aren't gonna just start you're not gonna just starve to death because like the coronavirus is causing places to not be open for business. I I But not gonna like no one's gonna I, uh, places won't close for that. Like I don't know what her dad uh, told him, but she was really scared last night. <laughs> I was like, you're, you're fine. It'll be, it'll be fine. Trust me. Like, um, the, the big, the biggest risk right now is I got a package from China that, and I'm yeah. still pretty, I'm still if pretty anything, be fine. If anything, the biggest, uh, or, uh, you're putting, if, should that scenario happen where stores and school and schools close down, you're putting yourself at bigger risk by having all that food in one place because it, uh, you're, gonna, you're now a target for everybody who doesn't have food. Yeah, well, I mean, that, they're, they're, also, they would need to know that she happens to have two hundred dollars worth also of you, food. Which, also, well, you do, and you just, and you I'm, just, I'm uh, sure she announced would give she me had some. that plan. Yes, Derek. Everyone is watching. Our, first off, no one knows specifically who this is, for relevance. Uh, um, I, um, I still don't think I've mentioned my first name on the show ever. Uh, I so, probably like, have. I know, I know you have. Uh. Or rather, you've mentioned your last name would be a more accurate scenario. No, I've mentioned yours. Have you? I've definitely said it. Mm. Did you say it? Did you say it enough, though? No, I don't say it often. It's, it's the kind of thing where I say it and I'm like, why did I say that? Oh, no! No! <laughs> um. I've definitely, I'm, I've probably definitely said my last name, too. You have. We've talked about Duxie. Yeah. You did it during Halo. Yeah. It's, it's definitely out there. I don't really care that much, though. So. But anyways, um... Uh, but anyhow, yeah, no no one, no one, one's gonna... Also, she didn't get $200 worth of canned food. She said she was going to. Yeah. And I said, don't. That's stupid. Yeah. I mean, if she told me it was, That's like, in case of an food. apocalypse or something... Canned food's like, cheap. That's a lot of canned food. <laughs> yeah, she told us, like, in case of an apocalypse or something, I'm like, okay, it's unlikely there's gonna be an apocalypse, but... At least I get it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just prepared to hunt in an apocalypse. Prepared to hunt. Derek Whether hunting. I'm hunting fruits, I'm hunting ant like deer, animals, like people, I'm hunting something. No, that's not gonna work. And I'm ready for it. Also, I just want to point out, also Zinker, if she went and got, uh, if she just went and like got a bunch of food, uh, she'd miss out on all the fun of looting. Like, I don't, as much as that, like, as bad as the of Civilization broke down, like, that's one thing I'd be really excited for, is, like, I always wanted to go looting. Dick, you don't know if she'll miss looting. But it's, but it's illegal. She, she's she'll not, miss out she's and she's not looter, going to do more looting. She's not, she's the one who said, she, she would have someone else to loot for her, which is perfectly fine. Not everyone wants to be a looter. I'm just saying, like, I, well, I'm, I'm, I mean, I, look, look if so, so Civilization ever like collapses? That's like one of the things I'll be most excited about is I can go looting. Just always want. I've, I've always. I, I just always want. secretly hoping the coronavirus does destroy everyone. <laughs> because me, me waiting, for, me waiting for civilization to, to collapse so I can finally go around looting. Oh my god, this game takes way too long with its cutscenes. Come on. I just realized I didn't complete the other area, huh? I still have to kill some things. God damn, dude. Um, what needs to die? Oh, the jack o' lantern. Just set that lamp down. Um, okay. And ah, uh, we had to redo this whole level again. Oh, the foxes need to die too. Because of course they do. All right that we should uh damn okay wasn't he green last time 
Yeah, it, I, it always go. It seems it always goes green, orange, pink. Doesn't matter. Uh, where it, so it will switch them wherever you do them first. You know. I noticed that on the gravestone. That was weird. I don't know why they do it that way, but I guess it makes sense. I guess maybe they save dialogue that way. I guess. And uh, that was the episode, guys. Me getting that page. That was the whole episode. Just that hidden page. Nice. nice. Right? Ugh. I'm having Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Wait a second. Made in China. Oh no. Alright, next time. Bye. Oh yeah.